right, we're back to uh, check on our Buckfast Queen today. We're going to do a quick inspection on the Italians, a very quick inspection on the Russians, make sure our queen is okay, and we're going to take the cork off the queen cage, expose the sugar, and uh, the bees will hopefully eat the sugar and let the queen out and she'll start laying. So let's uh, dive right in. So, one of the things I'm noticing here is there's just considerably more activity than previously uh, seen on the Italian hives. Also a lot of activity going on over here in the Russian hives. I'm not sure if this is good or bad, but this is just much more activity than I've previously seen. A lot of bees resting outside. I just want to see if uh, if they're coming in with pollen. Looks like they're coming in with pollen. They're leaving pretty quickly. They don't look like they're f clumsily flying out. So a lot of pollen going in. I was just worried that this might be a robbing situation with the volume, but it looks like empty bees are, bees are coming out empty-handed and going in with pollen. So I think this is probably just uh, peak season, or getting to peak season, high activity. But this is new for us, a lot of bees in the air right now, uh, which is not something we're used to when we do our inspections. Our sugar syrup is empty. Absolutely empty. That's a big change from last week. Okay. A lot of activity near the queen here. They've built a lot. Oh boy, that's not good. All right, hold on. Sorry bees. Just making sure that tacks in nice and tight. I want to see if I can see if the queen's alive before uh Okay, so she's in her cage. She's still alive. I've got a hundred fanning bees on my fingers. Feels very interesting. And I'm gonna try and not uh, screw this up. Okay. So now the candy is exposed. And uh, watch out bees, watch out. I don't wanna squish anyone. Candy is exposed. Bees, good, everyone off. I don't think they cared for that flick maneuver. There's one of our tacks. Don't want that to uh, get lost in there. Oops, oh boy. Always squishing bees. I'm so sorry, bees. Okay, so queen, cage is open now. Let's slide that right back down in there. Hopefully they'll let her out uh, in the next couple days. Looks like they're already working on the sugar. Already working on the, uh, letting her out. 
So that's it for what I'm going to do for this hive. Maybe I'm just going to take a look at one empty frame here. See if they've done any additional build out now that the there's a queen again. Shout bees. Nope, oh, starting to build things out. So on both sides, looks like they're getting back in the uh, habit of being a productive uh, colony. So uh, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. These are Russian bees and a buckfast queen. So for the first time, I, I put some grass in the smoker alongside the um, smoker fuel, which I normally don't use, and uh, seems to have a much better amount of smoke that comes out. Watch out, bees. Oh, come on. Just when I thought I could go a whole beekeeping session without squishing a bee. So I was uh, ill-prepared this week. I wanted to have a honey super ready to go for the Italians, just in case they needed it. And um, the way my week went, I didn't, uh, I didn't get it done. And uh, with my luck, we're going to get in there, and they're probably going to need it, and I'm not going to have it. But maybe, maybe that won't be the case. Completely empty. Thirsty bees. So they really seem to continue to want to eat the pollen patty, despite the volume of pollen they're putting in. Still, they're eating a lot of this. Lots of sugar syrup, some pollen. Not a whole lot going on on the side. Nice and built out though. Good sign. They're not doing anything over here. Despite the honey be healthy, they still hate this thing. Okay, some capped honey, some capped brood, I see some larva, some pollen. Over this side, a lot of larva, tons of larva. Oh, I see some eggs. It's gonna be impossible for me to capture on camera. But uh, right here, there's some eggs. Some more capped honey, a lot of, a lot of capped brood, some, I think our first Italian cleanup session, well maybe our second, some cat, some drones down the bottom there, Oops, sorry, oh boy, killed some drones, sorry geez. Some more drones down the bottom. A lot of cat brood, some pollen, capped honey. They are very well built out here. I definitely should have had I definitely should have a honey super to put on here and I don't have it. I have the frames built. I don't have the foundation in. I don't have them wired or melted. But maybe I can do that tonight, and then run 
the honey super up here tomorrow. A lot of capped brood, nectar, tons of pollen, capped honey. Italians have been very busy. Brood, honey, pollen. No queen yet. This guy's jam packed. Some more honey. Brood, a little bit of larva. I got a queen cup or the start of a queen cup there. It is at the very bottom of the frame. So that's going to be a uh, swarm cell, I suppose, if that becomes a if it becomes a full cell. Definitely got to get them a honey super now. Always be prepared. I was not. Nectar, looks like honey, uncapped honey. Completely unbuilt. So this has got two frames, one's that drone frame that aren't built out. The other six are completely built out. They should be getting a honey super. I don't have one. Maybe we'll get one in here first thing tomorrow. Try so hard not to squish them, but apparently not hard enough. Okay, it's pretty light. Not very built out. I'm wondering if I should swap where the boxes are. Mostly built out, very sparsely utilized. A lot of pollen. Tons of pollen. Haven't seen our queen yet. There's some brood. A lot of pollen. There's a uh, another queen cup right there. Brood, pollen, drones, pollen, drone cells. Brood, larva, here's our queen. Pollen, brood. Mostly built out, pretty empty. Mostly built out, brood and pollen. And then again, one on the edge. It's not very built out at all. There is space, but following the rule, they need more.
try and watch where you're going when you have a tripod. So that doesn't happen. So I think with the amount of pollen going in, we are all done with pollen baddies. Seeing how it's nearly the 4th of July. But uh, I'm gonna do one more round of sugar syrup and then we'll probably stop the sugar syrup as well. Whew, sweaty. All right, uh, Buckfast Queen, still alive. Didn't do uh, a full inspection on the Russians this week. Um, took the cork off the Russian queen cage, Buckfast Queen cage that's in the Russian hive. Italians look great, they need more space. I've got the uh, medium frames done. I just need to stick foundation in them, wire them up, and then we'll drop a, a medium on top uh, first availability, which hopefully will be tonight or tomorrow morning. No, things are looking good. Italians are doing great. They're just rocking and rolling. If I had to guess, there's probably more Italians right now than there are Russians. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, uh, if you have advice or feedback or anything we could be doing better or differently, please uh, let us know. Thank you.